Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today's video, I'll be showing you what's new on my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and also new ways on how we can customize our phone. These are some of the updates I got from the new Samsung One UI 5.1.1 update. Let's start off with our wallpaper. So I just recently discovered that you can choose your own color, um, own style for just a plain color wallpaper. So you can see a bunch of colors. There's even a spectrum that you can choose from. You can even adjust the opacity of the color. And there's also different styles. Um, I'll show you that in a while. Here are the styles that you can choose from on how you wanted your wallpaper to appear on your lock screen and home screen. There are now additional font styles that we can choose from for our um, lock screen. You can also change your clock style if you want it digital or analog or if you just want to remove the clock, you can also do that. You can even choose your font color to match your wallpaper color too. I just wanted to have a simple and plain purple wallpaper for today. On your lock screen, you can add your contact information in case you lost your phone. You can add your name, your phone number, or maybe just emojis, cute emojis you want to add on your um, lock screen. You can even change your corner apps from your lock screen. You can change it to your most used apps. Mine will be Spotify and YouTube. Let's not forget the color palette, one of my favorite, which you can choose a palette depending on your wallpaper color. And you can also choose from the basic colors. I just chose the purple to match our wallpaper. Now for our cover screen, I just recently discovered that we can now download GoodLock because it was not available before. I downloaded multi-star apps for our launcher widget which allows you to access up to 5 applications on your cover screen. Isn't this the cutest thing? You can even watch Netflix and the small cover screen of your phone. This also works with TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, when you're in a public place and you don't want to open your phone, you can just launch the apps from your cover screen. This is Theme Park from Good Luck. This is a new way for us to update our icons. Just choose icon and tap on the create new button and go to the three dots at the upper right corner, change icons and just choose the icon that you want to customize. I chose a photo from my gallery. To change the shape, just tap it again, select edit icon and you can choose different shapes 
To apply, just swipe back. And you can just repeat the steps on your other applications too. After customizing your icon, swipe back and install. Um, give it a name and then you can save it. You can see your new icon, step on it and install it and you're done. Now you can still have your notification badges and your customized icons. I will show you how to create stack widgets. Just long press on your widget, select and create stack and choose another widget you want to add. I want to add a gallery widget and just choose any photos that you want to add from your gallery. I got my photos from Pinterest, so if you want the link, let me know. Now you have your stack widgets. Now if you decide if you want to add one more, you can also do that. I'm not sure what's the limit and how many widgets you can stack, but I am stacking three widgets here. I decided to add the Google search bar so that I can also show you how you can customize the shape, the color, if you want it to match with your wallpaper. Just go to your settings, tap on search widget, and then customize widget. And here you have the selections on how you wanted your Google search bar to appear. So here's the shapes that's available. And this is where you can um, customize your color. Just drag it until you find a color that matches your wallpaper and then you can save it and this is how it looks like after customizing it you can now also remove a subject from any of your photos you can copy it and you can then paste it on your samsung notes or any other note taking apps this is actually a great feature, especially if you're doing a digital journal. This would be really helpful for you. You can just easily swipe and get the pop-up view of the current app that you're using. You can easily swipe it back if you want to return it to its original size. It's now easier to add your apps in the split screen view. Just go to your running apps, long press, and choose where you want to have it. You can have it in the bottom, on the top, and you can even add it in the pop-up view too. You can also switch and resize um, the apps too while on split screen view. Now this is the final look of our purple theme customization. I hope you found the new features helpful for our customization. Comment down below if you have any questions about these new features and I'll create a separate video specifically for those questions. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!